Debbie Reynolds was born Mary Frances Reynolds on April 1, 1932, in El Paso, Texas. Her parents were Raymond Francis Reynolds, a carpenter, and Maxine N. Harmon, a homemaker. She always loved to perform, and when she was 16, she won a beauty pageant and earned a contract with Warner Brothers. Reynolds made her Hollywood debut in 1949 in two films, June Bride and The Daughter of Rosie O'Grady. She then went on to work in a range of other films, becoming one of the most successful stars of the 1950s. She starred in such hits as Singing in the Rain, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, and How the West Was Won. In 1955, Reynolds married famed crooner Eddie Fisher, and the couple had two children, Carrie Fisher and Jolie Fisher. However, the couple's marriage ended in 1959 after Fisher left Reynolds for Elizabeth Taylor. Reynolds and Taylor later became close friends, even though Reynolds said she had a hard time forgiving her. In the 1960s, Reynolds' career began to falter, as she was seen to be too old for the parts she once played. Even though she was no longer in demand for motion pictures, Reynolds still achieved success. She starred in Las Vegas nightclub shows, touring versions of musicals, and TV shows. In 1973, she won an Emmy Award for her performance in The Debbie Reynolds Show. Her vast career in acting included Broadway and film roles and a dozen solo singles between 1954 and 1973. In the late 1980s, Reynolds was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and depression. In 1996, Reynolds' daughter Carrie Fisher published a semi-autobiographical novel based on their lives, Postcards from the Edge. The book was later adapted into a movie starring Meryl Streep. In recent years, Reynolds took to writing her memoirs. Her first book, Debbie, My Life, was published in 1988. In addition to her successful career in acting, singing, and memoir writing, Reynolds was a major philanthropist. She co-founded The Thalians, a nationwide mental health awareness organization, and opened a mental health center in Los Angeles, California.
Reynolds had a tumultuous private life, often overshadowed by her professional life. But it was her talent, strength, and charm that kept her beloved by many. She passed away on December 28, 2016, one day after the death of her daughter Carrie Fisher. Reynolds will always be remembered for her roles in classic movies, for her philanthropy, and for her courage in facing adversity and always striving to make a difference.